Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Magtastic Productions. Today, we have a nice treat for you. This weekend, we are doing a special staycation, a two-night staycation at the beautiful Hard Rock Hotel, Universal Orlando. And we are excited to be here. We're gonna show you as much as we can about this beautiful Hard Rock Hotel. We're gonna show you the resort grounds. We're gonna show you the hotel room, uh, restaurant review, what amenities they have. So we are super duper excited to be here and stay here for two nights. So you guys are welcome. Come and stay with us. So here is the front desk of the Hard Rock Resort and Hotel. As you can see, it's a little busy now. It's already a little bit after three, almost four o'clock. So a lot of people are checking in right now. Check-in starts after 3 p.m. As you can see, there's some cool, I love the theming of this hotel, which they have the pictures here. So you can see the pictures of all the celebrities right behind the front desk. Very chic, and I love the theming. Very cool. He, luggage service is on the right side of the uh, lobby area so you have the luggage services here you have avis rent a car here so if you need to run a vehicle they're here uh and you have your concierge here so the concierge or they sell tickets here actually so if you need any tickets anything to do with universal they can help you right here and here in the lobby in the middle of the lobby you have the velvet bar and you can see there's some cool memorabilia here. And actually, this looks like it's a jacket from... That's from ACDC. ACDC. Great group. Here's a picture of the group, ACDC. Awesome group. A lot of you know and are into rock, rock fans, like we were back in the days and still are. We still love these type of groups. And this is some little information about ACDC. And it's Angus Young, he's the lead guitarist. Yeah, so this is just information about this particular uh, group. They said that Angus Young has made a career out of large, large audiences with his uncompromising sound and unforgettable riffs, all while wearing an Australian schoolboy's outfit. So this is the schoolboy's outfit that they're referring to right here. Pretty cool inside the velvet bar. Some cool slamming music. Yeah, Lenny Kravitz. Awesome. Yeah, look, Lenny Kravitz right here. Yeah. There's this huge screen here in the lobby and they play rock music videos. Reminds me a little bit like MTV. <laughs> here in the gift shop, in the lobby, it's called the Rock Shop. So let's go ahead and see what they have here. There's all kind of cool merch, starting with bags from the Hard Rock, you have these cool shirts of That's all the, different groups. Yeah, from the Beatles. Nice. Look at that, sh that, that hoodie there. Awesome. Yeah. Look at this one. Another Beatle one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Abbey Road. Look at that. that. Famous picture of them walking. It's awesome. Yeah, awesome shirt. So you guys are into the Beatles. This is where you find some Beatles shirts. More Beatle merch over here. More Beatles. And look at this one. A white one. And then they have like little, uh, what do you call these again? Little frasks? Uh, little, yeah, flask canteens. Really cute. Mm -hmm. So you guys are into that kind of stuff. Put some, <laughs> put some drink in there, some put tequila. Put some drink, some tequila, <laughs> whatever you guys want in there. Cool. And then you got the hard, hard rock, rock merch, yeah. merch, the glasses. Paul showing me this jacket. Yeah, look at this awesome Beatles. Oh, wow, this jacket is pretty cool. Oh. Look at them there again. So it looks like they have a lot of Beatles stuff here. Yeah, a lot of Beatles merch. If you guys love the Beatles, you're definitely gonna love this place. Yeah. And look at all these, uh, oh look. They have some cool masks here. This one looks like it's like a, a skeleton mask. A skull, oh, yeah. A skull. Be another little, Beatles shirt. Another Beatles shirt with a jean white jacket. And the jeans. Some perfumes here as well. Pretty cool. Look at this perfume. The, the bottles on the perfumes are really yeah, cool. Yeah, for him, for her. Very wow. fancy. Wow. Oh my god, these jackets are so awesome. Look at how rock themed they are. Amazing. This reminds me of the 80s. 
when all the girls we all wore these kind of crazy jackets look at this one look at the detail on it little roses and black and then you have this white one just the same but white with the white roses this is so cool wow look at this cool you got zz top up there you got a signed guitar i guess it's by zz top and you got joe santriani and these are all guitars these are all famous guitarists look at that other guitar scott ian and you got scott ian up there look at that uh, it looks like these guitars are signed also yeah they're all signed look by the me. one has easy top so yeah cool. i love zz top oh my god yeah that is so awesome and here we have gene simmons kiss guitar oh my god look at how awesome it's in a shape of what like an axe yeah it looks and it's, it says it's a custom prototype it's a base wow wow this is so awesome it was used on the cycle circus tour that's pretty cool and here you have inside in the back of the gift shop if you guys need like toiletries or you need some medication some candy some chips and then here in this section what they call little rockers so this is the kids section so if you guys are coming down you come you a family comes with their children this is where you can purchase little onesies you got little teddy bears you got this cute little play guitar plate here you got little baby bibs yeah look at this bib i need one because i get slap <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think maybe we should get you one too. Going towards the elevators and into the hallway to our room, we have in the middle here, and again, this is right, you can come out of the rock shop from this side, and this is the hallways to the rooms as you can see here. You have Elvis Presley's outfit here. Our famous Elvis Presley pajamas. <laughs> Aren't they pretty cool? Kind of tight though. But looks like very sexy outfit. Pajamas for him. And this is our room. Right here. See this hallway. The hallway is really pretty. For some reason we always get a connecting room. But that's okay. This is a very nice room. Let's go in and check out the room. Let's go. Nice. As you come in, wow. So as you come in, you're gonna see the closet here on the left. Let me put this key over here. You have this closet, so I'm gonna show you the closet size here. The closet's one of those little sliding doors. I like that. It's kind of like a shutter closet. I like that. You can see we already got our stuff here there's a safety deposit box inside here a couple of hangers they do have an iron and a board they have a hair dryer in this room the hair dryer is actually up here so as you can see the hair dryer is up here i got my bag up there it's pretty big size they got some cool like zebra hangers here so like for like expensive stuff you don't want to mess up with these hard wooden hangers it's pretty cool so one thing i did notice on some of the theming inside the room if you notice i'm gonna put the camera to the side here and it says time for wardrobe change kind of like if you were going to a concert or something and you needed a change a wardrobe change and then right here next to the closet you have a little area here. This is where you have your little counter here. You got your coffee maker, so like a little curid. You got your, also for your ice, to put your ice in there. You wanna keep something cool. You got your cups. You got all your little condiments here for your coffee. And then right below, you have the refrigerator. Now, of course, it doesn't come packed with anything. We already got our water in there. Since it's two nights, we always like to have water in the room. You get thirsty in the middle of the night. So it's pretty big size. I like how they kind of hide it in here. 
so it doesn't look bad in the room so you can see it's pretty cool it has a key here so i'm assuming at some point this must have been like a mini bar or somewhere where you had maybe drinks before and here hi guys <laughs> this is right across from the little mini uh bar area a little refrigerator here with a coffee maker you have this cool decoration i like the theming in the room pretty cool so these are like uh sticks so these are the drumsticks in different colors this is pretty neat i like that i really like the theming in here i like the color on the wallpaper it makes it look very contemporary very modern but here you have a nice little rug you have your bathroom here but right here hi again <laughs> you have your little shampoos and your your conditioners and it looks like you have some soap little washcloth oh look this is pretty nice you got your little cotton balls your your uh, little cottons so you can like clean your ears if you need or anything like that i like that how they cover it up it doesn't look like all unorganized you got your cups here you got your tissues big large mirror <laughs> and you also have for the ladies like me i love having these nice mirrors so you got these nice mirrors here so it looks like you might so like you and this one is the one that you can see as you can see on the camera it has one of those mirrors for makeup so a nice makeup mirror here i like that and you got your sockets here so if you need to blow dry your hair or anything right in this air there's two nice sockets in here as well so you got your little washcloths here and on the right right by the sink and i like how they did it so in the sink somebody's getting ready in the sink area you don't have to be in the same bathroom everybody in the same oh one thing i did notice there's another sink in here oh how cool so somebody's using one sink the other person can use this sink and this sink is more like a it's it looks like it's more for a man to shave so it looks like that sinks for the ladies and this sink might be for the guys so that's how i would do it it's pretty cool it's a very cute sink a little trash there trash bin your uh regular normal toilet <laughs> you got plenty of towels here that they give you i like this little and then the curtain is like a just a plain white very simple but very nice and chic. The tub is very clean. You got your little handle here, so anybody is afraid to fall. You got your hard rock shampoos and conditioner. Looks like you got a nice shower head here. Ooh, it's like a rain one, and it might be one of those that you might be able to change around. Really cool, I like the shower head. It looks like it's, it's really nice, nice shower head. Nice spray, and then you got your little clothesline here for those that like to hang stuff or dry things i like the tiles it's white with gray tiles very cute another thing i noticed the little sticker on the fresh new toilet roll paper it says general admission so like if you were going to a concert or getting ready to go to a concert or if we were giving a concert so wardrobe change in the closet and then here is the general admission pretty neat and here is the room. We they didn't have a king size bed, so they gave us two queen size beds. But this is just fine for us. Really nice. Look at the beds. They look so comfy. The beds look very, very comfy here. Very comfortable. And they got one thing I do like about Hard Rock that they have like four pillows on the beds. So they have uh, four pillows on each side of the bed. Most hotels only give you two and then they put two extra ones in the closet. Not here. Here they have four pillows. You can see the other one is the same way. They got the decoration. Is, I like the theming in here. It's kind of rockish theme as well. And it has this beautiful like mirror with like splattered like red or maroon color, which is kind of neat. Uh, the lamps are cute, very cute lamps, 
And then they got the nightstand here in the middle. They don't have two nightstands on each side. It looks like it doesn't fit in the room with the, the way they have the uh, headboard. They do have a phone if you need to call the front desk, typical hotel basic phone. They give you two waters, free complimentary water. They give you a complimentary little hand gel, which I like. It's times we're living in, you need a lot of hand gel and sanitizer everywhere. And you got your cute little like a digital clock here as well. Uh, it looks like behind the water, let me move the waters here a little bit. They do have in the gel here. So they do have sockets. So I see they have plenty of sockets here. They got like two regular sockets and looks like it's like a USB one. So you can charge your phones and your, your uh, equipment. Then you got your dresser. Let's see this cabinets. Oh, nice big dressers here. Let me see, there's another, it's just one dresser here. Let me see, there's another one here. So two dressers and you got a little space there. So I guess if you want to put anything else underneath, pretty cool. Now you can't put anything underneath the bed because you can see with my foot, that's all it goes. It covers the entire from the top to the bottom. Across from the beds. So here's the beds. You have your two chairs over there with a big window. The hotel doesn't have balconies. We, we were giving a first floor one. They didn't have anything higher up. So I'm not sure they have balconies. We'll have to check it out later. But you got like two chair comfy chairs over there with a table. Then you have two like stool kind of comfy tables here. I mean, uh, chairs. What I do like, and I'm loving this. It's like a picture frame or a frame on the wall for decor, but it's speakers so you can see a speakers of all sizes pretty cool speakers here then you have your little area here where you can eat or oh and you got more sockets I just noticed more sockets here so if you have plenty of equipment you need to charge or anything or things they need to plug big family there you go your TV right here, big screen TV. Nowadays, social distancing and uh, health precautions, they put the remote in plastic. So they wrap it in plastic, I like that. Special caution. Let's look at these dressers here. Wow, so big dressers, very big and large. Wow, check it out. Look at this one here. Wow, very deep. So you can see they're very deep. So like a large family can put a lot of their belongings here. You're staying like at least a couple of days. You can just take things out of your luggage and just put it right in here. I like how cute the color theming here is kind of like a red, like a pop-up color that goes well with the theming of the room. So like I said, we were Facing the pool area, we have a pool view room with two queen size bed. So right behind these two nice chairs, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna open the shades over here so you can see the view that we have. So this is our view right here from our room. Look at this, beautiful. Look at this view. Now the sun is setting. So it's already about almost six o'clock. The pool is huge. There's a lifeguard that's sitting there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a, let me zoom in a little bit. See the lifeguard there? Pretty cool. And it looks like they do have jacuzzis or a little kiddie pool as well, but the, the hot tubs or jacuzzi, they're not officially open due to the pandemic so for social distancing purposes they're not in use as of right now but they normally would have hot tubs or jacuzzis that you can use so you can see it looks like they have some cabanas down there as well that you can probably rent we're gonna find out a little bit more about that probably tomorrow when we head out to the pool
One cool feature in the room is that they have this mirror. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like names on it. These are celebrity names. So it's like a mirror that goes, it tells you your height, how tall you are. And it has the names of all the celebrities and right next to that particular height, there are the names of the celebrities that are that particular height. So I'm, I'm about 5'7 myself. I'm a little bit taller than Magnus, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I'm as big as, uh, as tall as Bob Dylan, uh, Justin Bieber, and Bruno Mars. So that's really cool that I'm up, I'm on, you know, the same height level as them. Hopefully, you know, maybe just as good as their star power also, maybe? No. <laughs> I'm the same height, 5'5". Five, five. I thought I was a little taller, but I guess I'm older now, so I shrunk a little bit. Like they said, the older you get, you shrink, I guess. So I'm 5'5", five five, just like J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez, Aretha Franklin, and Billie Holiday. So looks like I'm their height. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm in a category with some really cool women. <laughs> One thing that I forgot to mention, when you first walk in to the lobby, the first thing they're gonna do, they take a temperature check. And once you pass a temperature check, if you're okay, they give you one of these little uh, wristbands that you have to wear throughout the entire stay until uh, that way they know that you are okay and you're a guest here staying at the hotel. kitchen restaurant here at the Hard Rock Hotel. This is located on the first floor right across the pool area. Ooh, delicious honey garlic wings. Look at this, look at how good, look at this little season. A little red, little garlic or peppers or something on it. Let's see, it's gonna taste so good. Mm, really good. Mm. Nice and juicy. It's sweet. It has like a little kick at the end, but it's just perfect. The spice with these wings, the garlic mixed with the honey, so good. It's a mixture. I re highly recommend you trying it out. If you like honey garlic wings, you're at the kitchen. Delicious. Okay. Really good. It has that little kick at the end, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Really good. Awesome. <laughs> I'm having the filet mignon, as you can see right there. This is the potato puree. In the bottom here, underneath the shrimp here, or the uh, filet mignon, is actually the spinach that comes with it. The shrimp is actually, I added it. This is a side, which is the grilled shrimp. And then, as another side, I ordered the green beans. I'm having the New York shrimp steak, the mashed potatoes, and the broccoli in the back underneath. So good. So for, de for dessert, we ordered to share uh, the Bananas Foster's bread pudding. It's a warm bread pudding made with toasted pecans. It has almonds, uh, croissants, little croissants, yeah, and cinnamon rolls. It's a dark rum caramel sauce, candied spice pecans, mm. and vanilla bean ice cream. Wow, this looks super good. And I like the little hard rock. And I'm having the creme brulee bite, which is a classic cream creme brulee with brulee raw sugar, topped with berries, buttery, savory cookie, and caramel sauce. Look at how cute it does. It does have the little fruit, and does have the little cookie right there on the side. Looks really, really good. Look at that. The kitchen restaurant was delicious. It was great, delicious. It was really good. Definitely recommend the food yeah. was excellent. Yes, it was really excellent, it was really good. I mean, there was nothing on that uh, restaurant or the menu that we ordered or any of the food that we ordered <laughs> that was negative. Um, From yeah. the wings all the way to the dessert. Yeah. Delicious, it everything. It was delicious. So we highly recommend coming in, checking out the kitchen if you ever stay at the Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. So definitely good review on the restaurant. Uh, service was a little slow in the beginning, but it picked up. Service was good. Excellent. So yeah. no, end, complaints. Yeah. no complaints. No so, complaints. And uh, 
the atmosphere is awesome. All yes. the rock memorabilia, awesome. It was awesome. Just being in that nice, fancy restaurant. Where it's a casual restaurant, mm -hmm. but with all the memorabilia and the theming, the rock theming around it, it was just excellent. Food and everything was excellent there. So you guys should and, check it out. Yeah, and we're coming back in the mornings to try the breakfast. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We're going to try the breakfast as well. Mm -hmm. They also have a marketplace here uh, just to get some quick snacks. So, uh, items to stock up your mini fridge in the rooms. It's called Emac and Bolio's Marketplace. Inside the marketplace here, they have Nicki Minaj's Bustier. <laughs> and look at that. It's a cupcake and an ice cream cone <laughs> on her Bustier. And again, this is female rapper Nicki Minaj. It says that she wore this dessert themed custom made top designed by Kana Taniuchi while appearing on BET's 106 and Park to premiere her new video, Freedom. And that was back in November 19th of 2012. Isn't that awesome? This is what I like about this, this uh, hotel. Got all this cool theming. They also have snacks here if you don't want to dine in a restaurant. They have uh, salads, wraps, you can get pizza there, you can get subs, Warheads meat. Oh, I love Warheads meat sandwiches. So, you know, just a quick bite. You don't have to stop in to the restaurant. You can order this and take it to your room. Very cool. Ah, oh, this bed feels so good. We are pooped out for the day and we're going to go take a nap, sleep tight for tonight, and tomorrow we're having more fun isn't that right babe we're having more fun tomorrow <laughs> yeah well have a good night guys we'll see you guys at breakfast at the kitchen can't wait good night good night good morning and we are heading for breakfast and we're gonna try the breakfast at the kitchen again just to see how good this is so let's start our second day at the hard rock come and join us for breakfast so here are the times for the kitchen, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The beach club, Velvet Bar, E. Mac and Bolio's Marketplace, La Palm Restaurant, room service hours, pool service hours. So for breakfast, the kitchen offers two menus. Um, they offer the regular menu where you can order things a la carte. Or they now have the family style breakfast, which is all you can eat. I wanted to show on here how much the pricing is and they have a rockstar add-on if you guys wanted to drink mimosas unlimited sangrias for an extra twenty dollars you can get on top of your breakfast but here's the fruits that comes with the pastries the pancakes um the eggs and meats here you can get an uh, all you can eat omelet they bring an omelet at a time and here's all the items you can get on the omelet the breads and the drinks. Not bad, but like I said, it's it's worth it. If all you can eat, it's about $23 and they're bringing the food out to, to you, so. And me and Agnes are having um, egg omelets, so that's not bad. Later on, probably we'll get some pancakes and some French toast. That sounds good. This breakfast here is really good. I like their, their family style. Um, if you think about it, you actually, for $23, you're saving yourself a lot of money. Because if you do the a la carte, from the a la carte menu, it's like just for an omelet by itself with some toast, it's like $15, $16. So I think this particular menu that they have, which is the family style, it's, it's like a buffet, except they bring it to you. And I think it's, it's, it's a better benefit and it's a lot more food. So like for a big family, I think this is the way to go. Our breakfast is served, or should I say our feast. He has our omelets, <laughs> our potatoes, Magnus's omelet, a plate of sausage and bacon, pancakes and French toast. Look at this trough of syrup. <laughs> Ketchup, a and nice fruit. big bowl of fruit, and we have our biscuits and cinnamon rolls there, and muffins. Wow. This is, like I said, we have a breakfast feast here. Yeah. yeah. This is an incredible breakfast. I think this is awesome. So far, I think I'm liking the breakfast better than the dinner. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this, like I said, the service 
is a lot better than oh, last yeah. night. They're very quick here. Yeah, very so quick. We have our feast in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and enjoy. This is a lot of food. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that breakfast was excellent. Excellent. Definitely better. Uh, the breakfast at the kitchen, highly recommended. Yes. I used, as you saw how much food there was, we, we had a feast. <laughs> yeah, we, we couldn't order again because it was just, no. I mean, you could repeat if you wanted to. If you to, wanted to, yeah. If you wanted a double omelet, that, that huge was, omelet, you could have you could have ordered it, but nah. it was just too much food. It was too much food. I mean, what we got for the price we got mm -hmm. was good. I mean, yeah. $23 for all that food was fantastic. Yes, so. definitely recommend it. It was the best. Yeah. Best breakfast I had family style in a while. So. Yeah, and the service was really good too. Yeah. So our server was fantastic. Perfect, yeah. yeah. Uh, come go see, uh, his name was Rashid. Go check him out, he was great. Rashid was great. Oh. We're gonna show you and we're gonna go inside. Here at the Hard Rock, they have what they call a butterfly garden. Look at all these beautiful butterflies that we're gonna see inside. I don't know if we'll see any, but we'll go check it out. Let's go. And this walkway here will take you straight all the way to Universal City Walk and the main entrance of Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. And here, the other form of transportation, besides the buses, because they do have the buses, the bus shuttles that take you over to City Walk, Universal. But here, you also have the water taxi. So the water taxi comes right here, picks you up, takes you right over to City Walk. And from there, you can go to City Walk or the main entrances of Universal Islands of Adventure. At the pool area, there's cabanas that you can rent. So if you see here, here are the cool cabanas. And they have a whole row of them. This is the area where you rent. You take your pool towels, you get your little life vest for the kids. So you can see here on the side, complimentary swim diapers are available at the towel hut. We're gonna jump in the pool now, have a little relaxing pool time. The pool is kind of busy here, but it's, it's gonna die down in a little bit. So we're gonna jump in the pool, we're gonna switch now to our GoPro. We can get in the water. So I'm inside the pool here. As you can see, the pool water is nice and warm and it feels so good. The temperature outside is like in the 70s. This morning was a little bit low probably like in the 40s but now it's nice and warm perfect pool weather and look behind you there's a nice bar here the pool is huge underwater let's go but at the beach club pool bar uh, these this is the menu so they have some starters so you see some loaded nachos sample platter chicken tenders you got quesadillas wings cheese sticks uh, you got chips and salsa then you also have flatbreads, you have like two different kinds, barbecue chicken and margarita flatbreads, salads here, then you also got your sandwiches, um, you got hot dogs, cocktail drinks, 
on the rocks. You got your frozen drinks, your daiquiris. Then you have your draft beers and of course wine. So there's 18% uh, gratuity is gonna be added to the checks. You can put that towards your room or you can pay here. Well, everyone, this is the end of our two night staycation at the Hard Rock Hotel in Orlando. We had a, wouldn't you say? A, a magtastic time. <laughs> yes. The hotel was amazing. Yes. Uh, the amenities were great. Mm -hmm. uh, the pool was great. The room was amazingly mm -hmm. fantastic. The view it was, was awesome. Yes, <laughs> we had a pool view. Yeah. And the room that they gave us was directly, as you saw in the video, directly facing the pool. The pool. Yeah, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah. So it was like we had a perfect view for this blog, which was amazing. Yes. Um, the food was good. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything was good. So, oh, one thing I forgot to mention uh, regarding the room, babe, right? Mm -hmm. That they don't have a daily housekeeping. Yeah. So if you want to exchange your towels or dirty seats, you leave it on the outside of your door, you give them a call, you can text them so they can come and replace those dirty towels and sheets. So Yeah. So what they do, if you need any additional uh, towels or sheets or anything, like Paul said, you leave your dirty linen outside or any, or like your trash and they'll come in, pick it up and you can call, request some mm -hmm. new fresh towels, some new fresh linen, and then you change it. They do only do the, the, the uh, housekeeping service at the end of your stay yeah. so it's it, it's nice i mean i'd rather have that because and honestly babe mm -hmm. how many times do we ask for housekeeping during our hotel stay hardly ever so yeah we usually put the do not bother do not disturb signs yeah. we don't like people going in our rooms when we're not here mm -hmm. but um that actually works out great so yeah. just a little tip for you and this is only now until things get better so yeah. i'm sure once things get back to some kind of normal seat, normal housekeeping then you'll so. get your normal housekeeping service mm -hmm. or cleaning service mm -hmm. um the food say yeah. real quick about the food like, in the like hotel. madness said the food was great the the dinner at the kitchen was awesome yeah. <laughs> i love steak we both had the steak um we had awesome breakfast in the morning yes. you saw the the family style breakfast oh. It was like a, a feast that we had, you know, I thought I was going to get another omelet or repeat. No, they give you enough food the first time yeah. so you don't have to repeat. They're very yeah. smart in that. Yeah. <laughs> and they also, as you saw, mm -hmm. that they do offer, you can add for like 20 bucks, babe, on the oh, menu. Oh, yeah. You, oh, you can uh, drink uh, mimosas. Mimosas so, and uh, Bloody Marys. And Bloody Marys, And yeah. Bloody Mary. Yeah. Bloody Marys here and the mimosas are really big, too. So, yeah. I mean, we don't like drinking in the morning like that, but mm -hmm. that's just like if you're going to do, like, if you want to do like a little Sunday brunch or you're staying here, I mean, mm -hmm. You're welcome to do that. I think that's a cool feature yeah, to have. Definitely. Uh, the pool. The pool was amazing. Yep. Um, we had a lot of fun. We yeah. went on the slide, as you guys saw. <laughs> There's music all the time at the pool, underwater speakers. Yes, so that was so cool. Even though we go cool. underwater, you hear the music at all times. Yeah, it was so cool. We felt like we were two little kids yeah. uh, coming down the slides and, uh, you know, just swimming in the water and then they have that cool pool bar right the pool bar, yeah the pool and bar the service food was yeah great the service was great the food was great oh, they yeah. brought it out to you they always checked on you if you needed anything else yes great service great yeah service. we had like three different uh uh, bartenders or servers come around just to check up everything okay do you guys need anything so yep. we thought that was fantastic that was awesome. too so yep. it was nice you know it was a very relaxing stay and you know this this hotel is great right babe it's it's close to it's right next to universal yes. city walk entrance mm -hmm. and you, you take you can take the mm -hmm. water taxi to city walk as you guys saw a very yeah. very short trip but you know we love water taxis we love being on the boat so that yeah. was really cool you can walk also to city yeah, walk it's only like a 10 minute here. walk yeah, yeah. So. yeah and it's it's very close like they do have bus shuttles as well so if you need to go to any yeah. of the other local theme parks uh and while you're staying here at one of the universal hotels you're welcome to make arrangements at the, uh, I believe it's the concierge. Concierge, yeah, we'll build that And they'll yeah. make, I think there's a small fee for that from mm -hmm. what I was, uh, from what I'm uh, understanding. Um, but, you know, you're like just a couple minutes away from the all other the, yeah, major the, theme parks. Exactly, so. all the local major theme parks are minutes away, so that's yeah. good. So overall, this was a fantastic, fantastic stay yes, as very usual. Very fantastic. <laughs> so I hope that uh, we were able to 
you know, give you guys a great review on this hotel and share our wonderful staycation or our experience. Yeah. Again, this was two nights. So I say two night stay really covers like most of the hotel Definitely, relaxing yeah. going to universal because usually you really take like one day for each park mm -hmm. so this would be a good hotel to stay so hopefully with this ex with our experience right babe mm -hmm. we we're helping you know you or someone else plan your next visit to orlando or universal or any of the major theme parks yeah definitely and yeah. you know i hope you enjoyed your stay uh with us while yes. you went through this experience <laughs> here at hard rock hotel so you know, hope we showed you everything uh, that was informational. Yeah. We showed you all the food. We yeah. showed you the amenities here. So hope you enjoyed your stay with us while you were with us here. <laughs> yeah. So when, on that note, we hope that you again enjoyed this video just as much as we had a great time and great. fun time making this video. If you're new here, remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And you're going to hit the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, that way you get notified of all of our coming future videos. Definitely. So on that note, we will see you all on, on our next, next MagTastic Productions. Productions. Bye, Bye, guys.